Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98. So first off, 100, this is the same thing as... 98 plus 2. 99, this is the same thing as 98 plus 1. And 98, that's the same thing as 98. So now if I replace these in for 199, I get 2 to the power of 98 plus 2 minus 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 98. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 98 plus 2, let's first start with that, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus... 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 is going to equal 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 1. And 2 to the power of 98, we're simply going to leave that by itself. We're not going to change that. So now from here, you can see that all three of these terms have 2 to the power of 98 in them. So now if I factor out 2 to the power of 98, I get 2 to the power of 98 times, well, 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 98, simply 2 to the power of 2. And now negative 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 98 is negative 2 to the power of 1. And finally, negative 2 to the power of 98 divided by 2 to the power of 98 is negative 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So now this gives me 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And 4 minus 2 to the power of 1 is simply 2. And I have minus 1. Now, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 98 times 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have 2 to the power of 98 times 1, and this is simply equal to 2 to the power of 98, because anything times 1 is itself. So this is my answer. All right, so I have x to the power of 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. Now, to start x to the power of 4, this is the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2, because 4 is 2 times 2. And 16, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. So I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I'm going to write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 4. So now I have x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So now x squared minus 4, this is the same thing as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So now this is going to give me three equations. I have x squared plus 4 is equal to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So first off, for x squared plus 4 equals 0, I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. So now these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x squared is equal to negative 4. Now, to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 4. 
Well, the square root of x squared is simply equal to x. So I have x is equal to the square root of negative 4. That's the same thing as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1, that's equal to i. So now I have x is equal to the square root of 4, i. Now the square root of 4, that's the same thing as positive or negative 2. So I have x equals positive or negative 2i. Now for x plus 2 equals 0, I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. And now I'm left with x is equal to negative 2. So that's my answer. And for x minus 2 equals 0, I can add 2 on both sides. And I'm left with x equals positive 2. So my four solutions are x is equal to 2i, x is equal to negative 2i, x is equal to 2, and x equals negative 2. All right, so I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. So now to solve this problem, first off, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 8. Now 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, and this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x is equal to 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to simply divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out, and I am left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is my answer. Now another way of solving this problem is I have 4 to the power of x equals 8. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of x is equal to b, this means that x is equal to log base a b. So in this case, x is going to equal log base 4 of 8. And now, this is the same thing as log 8 over log 4. Now, log 8, well, 8, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. And 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So I have log 2 to the power of 3 over log 2 to the power of 2. Now I can simply move the exponent to the front for both of these. So now I have x is equal to 3 times log 2 over 2 times log 2. The log 2 simply cancel out. So I'm, again, left with x equals to 3 over 2. So that's two methods of solving this problem. And now to check, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. We know that x equals 3 over 2, so I have 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 8. Now 4 to the power of 3 over 2, this is the same thing as the square root of 4 to the power of 3. And 4 to the power of 3, that's equal to 64. So I have the square root of 64 equals 8, and the square root of 64 is 8. So I have 8 is equal to 8, and because this is right, my solution is right.